Hello my art loving friends! I have a very exciting video for you today because I received a box of goodies from Chocola. A lot of goodies. Look at all these goodies. <laughs> so many in fact that I'm not sure we're going to get to all of them in today's video, but we're going to see how far we get. Let's get into it. I'm so excited to play with the things they sent to me. Down to the desk. Oh, so many fun things. What do we have? We have the watercolor brush pens, a soft and a real brush tip. That sounds really fun. We have the Fun Sills chalk markers. Okay, sign me up. The Chocola dot markers. Now I did review a set of these that came with a little like dot coloring book and that was really fun. Although the coloring book and the, the paper just wasn't that great. So I actually have a really really fun idea to try these out in so stay tuned for that i don't know if that's today or another video but you know only time will tell and the fun sales double-sided chalkboard first day and last day of school okay so i assume these chalk markers go with the chalkboard and this is kind of what i was hoping to get into for sure today because i have an idea that we'll see if it pans out wish me luck for the chalk markers here, it says, pick it, shake it, press it. It's just like Posca's acrylic markers and all of that, so you should be very familiar with that. And to wash it off though, a wet cloth or Windex can be used. Erasable, unlike acrylic markers. And here is the color selection that we have. It's fun. Now let's see if we can do anything with this, like I was hoping to. Okay, interesting. So these I assume are some chalk markers, but thinner. Yeah, so quite a bit smaller, a ton smaller actually. Here's the difference between the ones that came in the extra package and the ones that came with this. And there's the tip for that one and the tip for that one. Huge difference. All right, and that's what this looks like. Which is really ironic because everything on my Facebook feed these days is people showing their kids' first day of school. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so far past that. My son is, my youngest of three boys is turning 18 next week. So way past this, but I was wondering if these chalk markers cover this, then I have a fun idea for something that we can do on this board. Wow, my studio lights really glare on these things sometimes. But anyway, so let me prime some of these up and see if I can cover the text that's already on here and we'll play. So be very careful when trying to prime these because they come out really fast, first of all, and those two acted just fine. This one, when I pumped it, the nib got stuck inside and so it just kept coming out. I saw it immediately and immediately flipped it over and then I just had to bang it on the table a couple of times for that nib to pop back out. So that's, yeah, it, it's fast. These have all been shaken, but you can see that was like half of one pump and the color is coming out already. So they definitely have a big payout, <laughs> quite dangerous payout. Look, the orange is coming down that one and I haven't even pumped it. Oh, geez. Emergency, emergency. I don't have paper towels in here. I'll be right back. Lucky I keep paper towels in the laundry room, which is right next door to me over here in the art studio. Oh dear, oh my, oh goodness sakes. Well, it says, oh, and now the pink's dripping off. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm making a mess. Okie dokie. Good thing these are not acrylic markers and they can wipe off with water, right? I don't have any water handy. Oh, I just sprayed pink again everywhere. I'm doing good. Wowza. Okay, so have a way bigger piece of paper under you when you are priming these. Okay. <laughs> Maybe an apron. <laughs> Ow! Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh dear. They're gonna be all out of chalk ink, whatever this stuff is, before I even get to playing with them. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Mmm, I like that. One more big one, and then I want to see how the little ones reactivate. Yeah, the white is cre 
crazy fast again too. Okay, now there's cat hair on it already. Okay, let's try a little one. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Are you ready? One, two. Hey, these don't activate like the other ones. I shook them just as long because I had them all in my hands and was shaking them at the exact same time. Okay, so these little ones, what nib size is this? Does it even say? Three millimeter are much easier so far. That's one out of five though, so let's let's reserve judgment. Yeah, much easier to control. However, obviously, they're going to cover a much less large of a space. Oh yeah, you can watch the ink come down on that one, so not nearly the emergency. A lot less vibrant colors in these. These are much more muted. This is great though, because like if you're writing your student's name on that backpack that came with the set over there, then you would need these thin points. All right, very cool. I would say that the, the lids are pretty much an exact match for the color inside, so we don't have to save this little swatch sheet to know what colors we have. They match the lids exactly, so that's a bonus. Cool. Uh, I gotta go find water and clean this up. The shape of this board they gave us to play on definitely reminds me of my kitty cats that I did. <laughs> These kitty cats were something I just played with in class one day and then I made my Patreon postcards out of that idea. And I love them, they're so cute. Anyway, the backpack here reminds me of that shape. So we have cat ears, cat face, I don't know what these are gonna be, but we're gonna find out. And let's see if these chalk markers can cover the stuff that we don't want here. And I could tell right away that yes, they'll cover anything I need them to. And I was gonna stop and then I'm like, this is just too much fun. So I just kept covering stuff. I did have to wipe it off later, but you know, I was having a good time. So then I started on the actual project and I was starting with the cat's ears and I decided to go with this brown color and fill that all in and it's so satisfying. I don't know, does anyone else find it satisfying to watch all this stuff being filled in with these kind of markers? <laughs> I sure do and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, and I got my hand in the wet paint from the previous black test I did trying to cover those lines over there. Mm -hmm. There is way more paint on my hands coming up in the future. So that was the thinner marker. You can see that was a bit more challenging to cover the black of the chalkboard part and that's okay. I went on to the next side and just repeated everything I did. And then after I do these little ears, I decide to try some blending techniques, but it does take me a minute to finish these ears first because I'm filling in every little stripe, I guess you would call it. <laughs> every little stripe, but it is purely satisfying doing it, so I didn't mind. Although the fine three millimeter nibs were not as satisfying as the more broad point ones, that's for sure. And here you can see where I am start. Well, I'm, I'm grabbing the edges first, but here you can see I'm like trying some blending because they didn't have the exact color I wanted for the cat's body, but they don't blend very well at all. You can't really layer these chalk markers. So I wipe it all off and start from what you see. And I just grabbed something round to do the eyes. And then I took a ruler because I'm like, well, those are way off. <laughs> and then I found it was easier to spread the chalk markers if I just squished a bunch of paint out and spread it with my finger. However, that basically took what felt like all of the paint out of the marker. So I was really struggling to get these last little hash marks in there that you see, the filling in. And so I'm like, I think I better switch to a different color. And switching to a different color actually worked really well because it changed the color of the kitty. And I don't know, I think he turned out so cute at the end. But you can see I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can bring a little bit of this other color back in again, if I can get away with it. And there was still some of the chalk paint left in the marker, thank goodness, and I was able to do that. And you can see how well the white is covering. I don't know, this was just fun. These markers are fun, they just don't layer well. They layer okay if the layer underneath is 100% dry, but if it's wet or even slightly damp, it's not going to layer at all. I would not count on layering these, just for the record. And that yellow layer was so thick that even though I gave it plenty of time, I thought to dry, just still had way too much paint in there. So since they weren't layering, I went ahead and wiped off the top part of the cat's head because I wanted to give him this little extra bit of color up there. And it was much easier to do it without another layer underneath. 
Well, that was really fun. I love him. He's so cute. Why are my cats always boys? No idea. I still have a fingerprint there that I kind of forgot about. Oops. Well, I am curious how these will do on actual paper. So let's play with paper and find out what chalk markers do on paper. My A5 Edger sketchbook was just sitting right there, so I figured that would be a good one to use for this experiment. And I have found that it seems like the front and back sides of the paper are the same. So I'm gonna use this next page. This was when I had that five-year-old helping me <laughs> draw in my sketchbook. That was so much fun. Anyway, if I can find that video, I will link that in the corner for you. So let's see how these do. I am still kind of in a cat mood. And if you want to know why I'm in a very much cat mood, just wait till this Friday's video. It's going to be way too much fun. So subscribe if you're new because you won't want to miss that one. I guarantee you that. I kind of like this postcard. This one is so soft and pretty. <laughs> I like it. So maybe I will just try and kind of recreate that, except with these chalk markers, my hands are still a mess. I washed my hands twice during that too, <laughs> but I can't help but use my hands for everything. So let's see, let's see what we can do. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to put that over there a little safer, maybe. So when I did this, I drew the outline in pencil first and then painted, but these chalk markers were supposed to be able to write over the top of each other. So if I make a mistake, we should just be able to cover over it, right? Except I am kind of nervous. I have my line art for that actually right here. So maybe I should just put that in there. Oh, it might be too little. I think I will. I think I'll put the line art in there and call that good. So I have been using the bejeebers out of that battery operated light box that I got and I did a review on that and I will link that in the corner and then the description box below. Well, kind of a review. I wasn't supposed to do a review, but I was using it and I told you guys about it and I was telling you how much I love it, but I thought it was kind of expensive, but oh my goodness, it is so nice to have a light box where you don't have to have a cord to turn it on. It's just amazing. I bring it to all of my college classes. I use it every time in the studio that I need a light box and it is worth some money. So if you feel like investing in a light box, get one that is battery operated or at least that you can have a rechargeable battery in it because it's so nice not having to plug a cord in every time you want to go to use one. So I put my line art onto my little sketchbook and then continued with the chalk markers. And it's probably not a surprise to anyone how fun this was. <laughs> First of all, at your sketchbook, hello. Let's talk about super deluxe, fun to use sketchbook for just about anything to do with water media or as you can see, markers that are thick like these chalk markers. And I had a good time. The challenge was no pastels. I mean, I guess that blue I used in the middle teacup for the kitten was kind of a pastel, but you know what I mean. It'd be nice. I'm sure they have a bigger selection of these. In fact, I'll probably go look and tell you guys in the description box below, but pastel colors are super important when you're dealing with markers because you need lighter colors. And unless you want to mix colors over on a palette somewhere and then bring it onto your paper, you need those pastel colors. However, I got away with bold colors in this little illustration just fine, but I did bring in a fine liner, like a little pit artist pen fine liner at the end and just add in a couple of final details and it was really fun, very enjoyable. And I will just sum it up for you here in a second when I come back to you live. That wraps up that. I think the last thing, if you have any questions at all about this would be, how does it actually write on this if you were going to use it for the purpose that it's intended for? So let's try this red. Obviously, we've seen how the markers work on this and I think it's great, so, oh yeah. Woohoo! It's my last day of, I don't know, using chalk markers in this video. <laughs> nice, I love it. Today is, I don't know, this video releases on a Tuesday. There we go. My age is you tell me. Yeah, I think I've told you guys before, so it's no big secret. Favorite subject, hmm, 
Let's think about that one for a minute. Art is my favorite subject. Favorite activity with friends? Well, I started a watercolor club, so I would say watercolor club. <laughs> Ta-da! This year I learned, what did I learn this year? I think I'm out of little markers. I kind of like this purple. This year I learned Let's just say, ooh, I like this one, to have fun. And this summer, oh, this summer is almost over. It's so sad. In fact, school has already started here, which is even more sad. So let's pretend that it's more in the beginning of summer. This summer, I plan to spend a lot of time outside. I like that. So yeah, these big chalk markers work just as well as the little ones on this, so. That's easy. I guess you can't get quite as thin of a line, if you will, word. I still have chalk on my palm. Anyway, with the big ones as the little ones, you can see that one is quite a bit skinnier than this, but still they worked equally the same. These were so much fun. You guys, I think maybe if you're having art block even, go grab an art supply that is meant for a child or someone younger than yourself. I don't know. I think just a child is appropriate go grab that art supply and play with it because it just brings you back. And it's so much fun. And then making something out of something that it's not meant for is also really fun. <laughs> I love this guy, he's so cute. Sadly, he'll just wipe off if he gets water on him, but then we can just do another painting, right? And it worked fine on paper and the cats make me happy. So there is that. This is the most fun that I have had in a while, even though I have fun a lot. <laughs> this was really, really fun. All right, guys, I don't know if chalk markers fit into your art lifestyle, but if you need to pick me up, maybe go check them out. I will link everything down below. I have tried their acrylic paint markers in a previous video, so if I haven't already, I will link that in the corner for you and in the description box because they were also really fun. All right, stop this video and go play with art right now because you will not regret it. I will see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a great one, so make sure you're subscribed down below with all notifications turned on. You won't wanna miss this one, I guarantee you that. All right, we will try the brush pens and the dot markers. I am determined to make those dot markers into a masterpiece, so you are definitely not gonna to wanna to miss that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, my art-loving friends. In today's video, no, hang on, hold on. <laughs> Hello, my art-loving friends. I have a very exciting... <laughs> Take three. Hello, my art-loving friends. I have a very exciting video to... Take four. I am determined to make a masterpiece out of those dot markers, so you are not gonna wanna miss that either. I will see you guys in the next video. Excuse me. I am determined to make those dot markers in... Mark, Marcus, Marcus, beats me. Hey, are you the cutest thing ever? Are you the cutest thing ever? Yeah, you got your bearing. No, that is a bushing, <laughs> not a bearing. You got your bushing? Why won't the camera focus? Yes, you got your bushing with your little bully stick inside. Good boy, good boy. Hi. Hi, I love you. Love you. Love you. You're so cute. <laughs>